Kirchhoff's Voltage Law Kirchhoff's Voltage Law is one of the fundamental laws used in circuit analysis. It's useful for finding potentials in currents when simple analysis is insufficient. It was one of the many important contributions to mathematical physics made by Gustav Robert Kirchhoff, a German physicist of the mid-1800s. Kirchhoff's voltage law states that at any time instant, the algebraic sum of all branch voltages around any closed path of a network is zero. Just to clarify the terminology of the law, a branch voltage is nothing but a voltage across a cell or resistor or any other component in a network. Now to understand the law, let's look at a simple circuit with a battery and three loads. The loads are labeled as L1, L2, and L3, and the battery has a voltage of VA. Now, since we know that a resistor will have a voltage drop across it when connected to a battery, we've labeled the voltage drops as V1, V2, and V3 for loads L1, L2, and L3, respectively. Now, in this circuit, we're going to consider voltage to be positive when it's added into the circuit and negative when it's taken away in the circuit. Since we're thinking of a battery or a cell as something that gives voltage to a circuit, we're taking that voltage, VA, as positive. Since each of the loads have a voltage drop across them, we're taking those voltages as negative. Now basically, what Kirchhoff's voltage law is saying is that the algebraic sum of each of these branch voltages, VA, V1, V2, and V3, will add up to zero. This means that VA minus V1 minus V2 minus V3 is equal to zero. Now let's take this equation as equation one. Now to further understand how Kirchhoff's voltage law works, we're going to need to imagine that a charge Q is flowing through the closed network. Since the battery is giving energy to the circuit, the charge Q picks up an energy equal to Q times VA as it moves through the battery. As the charge goes through the loads, this energy is consumed by the loads. So, the energy lost by each load is going to be equal to the charge times the branch voltage across the load. This means that the energy lost while the charge is going through L1 is going to be equal to Q times V1. Similarly, the other energies lost are Q times V2 and Q times V3. By the law of conservation of energy, the charge will have zero energy as it returns to the negative end of the battery. To put this in a mathematical equation, we have VA times Q minus V1 times Q minus V2 times Q minus V3 times Q is equal to zero. We can simplify this by saying that VA minus V1 minus V2 minus V3 all times Q is equal to zero. And by dividing both sides of the equation by Q, we have VA minus V1 minus V2 minus V3 is equal to zero. This is the same equation as equation one, so we've basically proved Kirchhoff's voltage law. You should note that in this example, we've only applied Kirchhoff's voltage law to one loop, but in reality, we can apply it to a network with any number of loops. This is why it's a very useful tool in circuit analysis. The main application of Kirchhoff's voltage law comes into play when we're talking about mesh or loop analysis, which we'll talk about in another video.